Introduction On a clear night, you'll be able to see numerous stars twinkling in the sky. The vast surrounding space is called the universe. The universe includes everything that exists. The most distant stars, planets, satellites, as well as our own Earth and all the objects on it. Thus, in order to study the constitution of this universe, we have to first discuss the objects like galaxies, stars, planets and satellites, etc., which are found in the universe. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to list the celestial objects and identify some, understand the phases of the moon, Keep track of lunar expedition. Locate some of the constellations in the night sky. Know about solar system. Explain the role of artificial satellites. The Moon The Moon appears to be the brightest of all other celestial objects after the Sun. You can see the whole of the Moon on a full Moon day. How are you able to see the Moon? It is because it reflects the light of the sun. The moon does not produce its own light, but looks bright because it reflects the light from the sun. Think of the sun as a light bulb, and the moon as a mirror, reflecting light from the light bulb. The moon revolves around the earth, and also around the sun along with the earth. The moon completes one revolution around the earth in 27.3 days. In the meantime, the Earth moves ahead in its orbit. Thus, from the Earth, the Moon appears to complete one revolution between one Moon day and the next, in 29.5 days. You know that a lunar eclipse may occur on some full Moon days. Phases of the Moon New Moon During a new Moon, we can see no portion of the moon's surface that is lit. We see only the dark side of the moon. This typically marks the beginning of the lunar cycle, which lasts 29 and a half days. The moon is between the earth and the sun in its orbit. Waxing crescent. During the waxing crescent phase, we see on the right side a small silver of the lit moon. First quarter. During the first quarter phase, we see the right half of the lit moon. The moon and earth are now side by side in their orbits around the sun. Waxing gibbous. During the waxing gibbous phase, we see almost the entire right side of the lit moon. Full moon. During a full moon, we see the entire half of the moon's surface that is lit. The moon is positioned behind the earth and the sun. Waning gibbous. During the waning gibbous phase, we see almost the entire left side of the lit moon. Last quarter. During the last quarter phase, we see the left half of the moon lit. The moon and earth are now side by side in their orbits around the sun. Waning crescent. During the waning crescent phase, we see on the left side a small silver of the lit moon. Moon's surface. The Earth's one natural satellite, the Moon, is more than one quarter the size of Earth itself, 3,474 kilometer diameter, making the Earth-Moon system virtually a double planet. Because of its smaller size, the Moon's gravity is one-sixth of the Earth's gravity. That is, a person who weighs 60 kg on the Earth would weigh just 10 kg on the Moon. Constellation. We see thousands of stars on a clear moonless night, and some of these stars are arranged in groups or patterns. One group of stars suggested the outline of a bear, another group of stars reminded them of a hunter, and so on. The stars which appear in the form of a closed group and form recognizable shapes and patterns are known as constellations. Usura Major Constellation, or Great Bear Constellation. The Indian name of Usura Major Constellation, or Great Bear Constellation, 
is Saptarishi. The Great Bear constellation reminds us of large ladle or a question mark studded in the sky. The Usura Major constellation or the Great Bear constellation consists of seven bright stars arranged in a pattern resembling somewhat a big bear. The constellation Usura Minor or Small Dipper also has seven stars in it. The pole star forms the handle tip of the Usura Minor. Orion Constellation The Indian name of Orion Constellation is Mriga. Orion Constellation also consists of seven prominent stars. The arrangement of stars in the Orion Constellation is shown in the figure. Orion means hunter. So the arrangement of stars in Orion constellation is supposed to resemble a hunting man. The Solar System The Solar System consists of the Sun, the nine planets, and their satellites, or moons, and thousands of other smaller heavenly bodies, such as asteroids, comets, and meteors. The Solar System is dominated by the Sun. The sun is at the center of the solar system and all these bodies are revolving around it. The gravitational pull of the sun keeps all the planets and other objects revolving around it. Thus the motion of all the members of the solar system is governed mainly by the gravitational force of the sun. Satellites or moons A satellite or moon is a solid heavenly body that revolves around a planet. The moon revolves around the earth, so moon is a natural satellite of earth. The satellites have no light of their own. They shine because they reflect the light of the sun. We will now describe the earth's satellite moon in detail. It should be noted that though we commonly call earth's natural satellite as moon, the satellites of all other planets can also be called their moons. Planets. Planets are solid heavenly bodies which revolve around the sun in closed elliptical paths. A planet is made of rock and metal and produces no light of its own. A planet shines because it reflects the light of the sun. Since the planets are much nearer than the stars, they appear to be big and do not twinkle at night. The planets move around the sun from west to east so the relative positions of the planets keep changing day by day. The planets are very small when compared to the sun or other stars. There are nine major planets, including the Earth. The planet nearest to the sun is Mercury, and the planet farthest to the sun is Pluto. The names of the planets along with their Indian names are given in the order of increasing distances from the sun. Mercury, Buddha. It is the nearest to the sun. Venus, Shukra. Earth, Prithvi. Mars, Mangal. Jupiter, Brihaspati. Biggest planet. Saturn, Shani. Uranus, Indra. Neptune, Varun. Pluto, Yama. Smallest planet. It is farthest from the sun. Among the nine planets of the solar system, five planets, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn can be seen easily with the naked eye. They are referred to as terrestrial planets which have solid and rocky surfaces. Three planets, Uranus, Neptune and Pluto are very far away and have been discovered with the help of the telescope. These planets are referred to as Jovian planets. The planet Earth is called the Green Planet. Mercury is the planet nearest to the Sun. It is smaller compared to Earth and is nearly of the same size as that of the Moon. It is occasionally visible just before sunrise or after sunset. Due to its brightness, it is often called morning or evening star. Like moon, Mercury too has a rocky surface and mountains. Venus. Venus is the next planet nearest to the sun. Venus is, however, the closest planet to the Earth.
The planet Venus is the brightest object in the night sky except the moon. A Venus appears bright because it reflects about 75% of the sunlight falling on it. The mass of Venus is 4 upon 5 times that of the Earth, while both are nearly the same size. The Earth is the third planet from the Sun. When viewed from the other space, the Earth appears blue and green due to the reflection of light from water and land on its surface. Earth is the only planet in our solar system which has sufficient oxygen, the gas we need in order to live. It is also the only planet to have large quantities of water. It is the presence of life which makes Earth a unique planet. The Earth rotates about an imaginary axis that passes through the North and South Pole. The axis is slightly tilted with respect to the plane of its orbit. The day and night on the Earth occur due to this rotation. The Earth completes its journey around the Sun in 365 days, which we call a year. The change in seasons on the Earth takes place due to the tilting of its axis of rotation and the change in its position with respect to the Sun. As a result of the tilting of the axis, the northern and southern hemispheres of the Earth towards the Sun keep changing throughout the year. When the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the Sun, we experience summer while it is winter season in the southern hemisphere. Mars Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun. Since the planet Mars is quite far off from the Sun, it is a cold planet. The planet Mars has an atmosphere containing traces of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, hydrogen and oxygen. The oxygen on Mars is too little for the survival of life there. Jupiter Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun and the biggest planet of the solar system. It is the first of the gaseous planets made up mainly of hydrogen and helium. It is a very bright object in the sky and appears as a very colorful object when seen through a telescope. Jupiter has some rings around it, but these are extremely thin. It has a very deep atmosphere. The atmosphere of Jupiter consists of hydrogen, helium, methane and ammonia. It is a very cold planet, its surface temperatures being minus 150 degrees Celsius. The mass of Jupiter is more than 3,000 times the mass of the Earth. Because of its extremely large mass, Jupiter exerts a very strong gravitational pull on the other objects which pass it by. For example, a comet passing close to Jupiter experiences its very strong gravitational pull and gets deflected from its original path. Saturn Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun. Saturn is the second biggest planet of the solar system. Like Jupiter, Saturn is also made up of hydrogen and helium. It is surrounded by hundreds of narrow rings that are visible. The presence of a well-developed system of rings around Saturn makes it unique in the solar system. Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun. Uranus is the first planet to have been discovered by the use of a telescope. After Jupiter and Saturn, Uranus is the third biggest planet of the solar system. It is also made up mainly of hydrogen and helium and has some rings around it. The most interesting point about Uranus is that it rotates on its axis from east to west whereas all other planets rotate from west to east. Neptune Neptune lies just beyond Uranus. Counting outwards from the Sun, Neptune is the eighth planet of the solar system. Neptune is about the same size as Uranus and it is the last of the large planets. Neptune also has some rings around it. Pluto. Pluto was the last planet to be discovered. It is the outermost of the known planets of the solar system. It is the ninth planet from the Sun. 
please note that the planet Pluto is the farthest from the Sun as well as from the Earth. Pluto is the smallest planet of the solar system. It is thought to consist mainly of frozen methane. Being farthest from the Sun, Pluto is the coldest planet of the solar system. Asteroids Asteroids are very small planets of rock and metal which revolve around the Sun mainly between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Actually, asteroids are a belt of a kind which somehow fail to assemble into a planet and keep revolving between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. There may be as many as 1 lakh asteroids. The biggest asteroid called Ceres has a diameter of about 800 kilometers, whereas the smallest asteroid is as small as a pebble. We have already studied that Pluto is the outermost planet of the solar system. At the edge of the solar system, there are billions of very small objects called comets. These comets were formed very early from the same gas cloud from which other members of the solar system were made. These comets are so far off that they are unknown to the world. Thus, a comet is a collection of gas and dust which appears as a bright ball of light in the sky with a long glowing tail in the figure. The tail of a comet always points away from the sun. Meteors Meteors are the heavenly bodies from the sky which we see as a bright streak of light that flashes from a moment across the sky. Some meteors are the dust particles left behind by comets and the others are the pieces of asteroids which have collided. Some meteors are so large that a part of them reaches the surface of the earth before they get evaporated completely. These are known as meteoroids. Artificial Satellites You must be familiar with the names of satellites like INSAT-3B. INSAT-3B is an example of man-made or artificial satellite. They revolve around the earth like the natural satellites but are closer than the moon. The launch vehicles developed by the scientists carry the satellites into the space and launch them as artificial satellites. Only six countries in the world have the technology for developing artificial satellites and India is one of them. Artificial satellites help in long-distance transmission of television programs, communication through telephones and internet. They also help in research, defense and remote sensing. It is used to collect information about weather, agriculture, land and ocean features. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The phases of the moon occur because we can see only that part of the moon which reflects the light of the sun towards us. Stars are celestial body that emit light of their own. Our sun is also a star. It is convenient to express distances of stars in light years. Stars appear to move from east to west. The pole star appears to be stationary from the earth because it is situated close to the direction of the axis of rotation of the earth. Constellations are group of stars that appear to form recognizable shapes. The solar system consists of eight planets and a host of asteroids, comets and meteors. A body revolving around another body is called a satellite. Moon is the natural satellite of the Earth. Some planets also have natural satellites. Venus is the brightest planet in the night sky. Jupiter is the largest planet of the solar system. The artificial satellites revolve around the Earth. They are used for weather forecasting, long-distance communication and remote sensing.